Mm -hmm. Tell us about Johnny Wack. Well, Johnny was, um, when I met him, he was without question the most talented individual I'd ever seen. Johnny was um, flamboyant, I think is the word that comes to mind. He could, uh, he could charm the, you know, shoes off a snake. He was uh, uh, very, very creative. He had good ideas. The Motorcycle Mama album was basically just his concept and it was thrown together in the studio. Uh, and he was capable of doing stuff like that. He, uh, he came from Decatur, Alabama originally, but he had been born in the Shoals area and uh, had moved over to Decatur as an infant and uh, then came back as a, or in his early 20s. And uh, he had just a flair for show business. He had been in a number of bands, uh, before that, the Magnificent Seven, uh, the American Eagles, uh, his group, uh, one of his groups had been the first to cut me and Bobby McGee. Uh, he was uh, friends with Bucky Wilkin, John Buck Wilkin, who was uh, Christopherson's uh, roommate in Nashville at the time. And uh, he had heard uh, the, me and Bobby McGee had, from Bucky while Chris was off on the road somewhere. And he just cut it without permission to do so, which is not unlike Wiker. And uh, I don't really, I never really heard his version of it, but I know that it was cut. And they, I think they released it. But uh, Johnny is, um, uh, uh, you know, still out there, still doing crazy things on a regular basis. Uh, he he uh, and I put together uh, the Mighty Field of Vision, which uh, basically revamped. Eddie Hinton's career in the mid 80s and got um, Eddie back to where he was recording again and writing a lot. And Eddie